Hi and welcome. Last week I posted a video where I was looking at my set true chuck and I was uh, trying to investigate a question that had come up in the past which was um, would it be better to tighten from a single pinion on a six jaw chuck or would it be better to walk the three pinions and tighten them sequentially? And that question came about because I had purchased a Shars six jaw chuck and only had one pinion. Now I couldn't tell from the drawing or the pictures when I bought it, there was only one pinion and I was really disappointed because I'd seen A-Bomb 79, uh, Adam Booth, uh, walk in the pinions when he was tightening something up in his six jaw chuck. And I thought, holy cow, that makes sense. It's kind of like creeping up on the bolts on a uh, wheel on your car where you're tightening them, uh, you know, in a uh, cr crisscross pattern to sequentially tighten everything down. And so I thought for sure that just tightening from one pinion like I could do with my shars, which is all I had, versus walking around and tightening all three, that the three would be better. Not only would you get a tighter fit, but you get more repeatability. Well, guess what? The conclusion, the, the results were very different and a bunch of commenters came up with a bunch more questions uh, that I wanted to try. So I'm gonna do that this week. So let's just uh, recap what happened last time, which was found the master jaw because it's labeled here with a zero. And I didn't label that, that was done at the factory. One of the three pinions has a mark next to it, it has a little zero, you see uh, this one right here has a zero. And so I used this as my reference pinion. I set this, uh, tightened the, Tighten on my carbide rod. There's a micro 100 ground carbide rod. As you can see here, it's out by a couple of tenths. This is a half tenth indicator per division, and it's like half a division out. And so I, uh, I set this uh, true, took the part out, rotated, set it, tightened it again, and it came back very nicely within a couple tenths. Mac, this is left from last week. I haven't changed anything. Now, I then went and uh, put the part in and I walked tightening all three pinions around instead of just tightening from the one. Uh, it felt like I got tighter because it sort of sequentially pulled the, the, the scroll disc under here uh, more evenly. So it felt like it got tighter, uh, but it turns out the results were that uh, it was nowhere near as uh, well centered. So I'll do that again right here. So let me pull this guy off the, top here and I'm going to loosen the master pinion. See I'll rotate the piece here and I'm going to come back. I'm going to start snugging this then snug the next one and the next one finally on the master pinion back and then I will walk this until I reach my max here. Okay, there's my max. I will set a new zero, which I may have to stop and take some time because this is really fiddly. That's very close. And look at that. One and a half thousandths. Which is crazy, right? And if I pull this guy back off here, I loosen the part right here. See me rotate it around. Tighten it back up, just with the master pinion. Find my zero again, my high spot, which fortunately is about the same spot. And that is less than a half a thousandths, couple tenths. So there were some other questions about what would happen if I didn't use the master pinion, but I just chose a different pinion and uh, tried that instead. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna come off the part. We're gonna try the pinion right after the master pinion. Here's this one. The set true was all set true based on that pinion. So first we're just gonna loosen this guy and we're gonna put it back, tightening from here with a little gronk. Come up to center. Got my zero close. And holy cow, <laughs> that's out by a couple of thousands. Let's just try the third one as long as we're at it. So we're gonna come off the part. Here's the one I did that time. We're gonna to go to the third one. We're gonna loosen this guy. I'm gonna move the part around. 
Just gonna tighten it, come up, find our zero, or our high spot rather, which is right there. Okay. Holy cow, that is two and a half thousandths out. Okay, so now let's go for the next test, which is questions people are wondering, I'm guessing. Here's my master pinion. The set true was set based on this. I'm gonna go to the next pinion over, and now I'm gonna adjust the set true to be accurate for the next pinion over, and we'll see if it repeats there. All right, so here's uh, my master pinion. We set it based on this pinion being tight. You can see it's within one or two tenths. So we're going to now loosen here. Let me pull this guy back off. We're gonna loosen with the non-master pinion. And that's not just my opinion. <laughs> it's loose. And we'll snug it back up. We will find max. Re-zero our indicator. And look at that, wildly off. Let's just test it again. That's, well, wildly off, one and a half thousandths. So let's go back to the second pinion here again. Sometimes I don't get it right, just right in. So let's uh, spin it. And I try and get back to the same tightness each time. I should be using a torque wrench if I really want to make this repeatable. Still one and a half. So that says that the master pinion is more repeatable than the secondary pinion, at least. And I didn't try the tertiary. Um, I could try and set up the set true on the tertiary and see if that one works. Let's give that a shot. So I'm going to loosen up all my locking bolts, readjust the set true so that the part is centered based on the third. So I guess what I first need to do is we're over here at the third, and you can tell because the master pinion's here. We're going to loosen the part. We're going to spin it. And we're going to gronk it just lightly. And I'm going to come back and we're going to unsnug these guys. And then we're going to try and adjust this guy. Find the high spot. All right, that's pretty darn good. Not perfect. I can gently snug these guys. I don't think I really need to do much with these guys because those are just when you're using under force and there's no force here. So I'm gonna let those go. Okay, there we are. So we need the master pinion. One, two, and we will bring this off, the indicator off. We will loosen this, we'll spin it, we'll come back, and we'll give it a little tighten. Find my high spot. This one's not bad. This one's repeating like the master. So that one's kind of interesting. So individually, they tend to be variable. The second one is a little bit unusual compared to the other two. Let's take it off again and see if it repeats. So here's my master, the one just before it or two over. We will loosen. Go back. find my high spot and look at that that repeats nicely so some of the pinions seem to repeat as well as the master let's try the second one again because that those results are weird so we're going to go to this pinion right here this is the master loosen the part tighten it back up again Find my high spot. Now 
There we are. Yikesies. <laughs> For whatever reason, this one just is very different. All right, let's let's uh, let's set this guy so I'll, I'll loosen these guys up again. And let's go and adjust. All right. So I was tightening on the lows, but I don't think I've got anywhere left to go here. I don't. So I've got to loosen on the highs instead. That's already really good. Let's see what we can do here. So that's the low. We will tighten on the low. That's a couple tenths. All right, let's go back to one, two, come off, loosen, move my part, give it a tighten. Okay, there's my high spot. Oh, that was better this time. Okay. Only maybe a couple tenths worth, still less than, less than half a thou uh, out. So maybe the first time I didn't get it as good. I'm not quite sure. That answers one of the questions. So individually, you can set this up for any of the pinions. It does seem like the master may be a tiny bit better, but they all seem to be settable. Next test. It was, it was suggested that what if you walked up the tightness, so let me start, here's my master up here, and it's loose, let's put the part in, and we walk the tightness all the way around. Very good. Then we use our set true to set this to zero. Okay, so right now we're we're about a thou and a half out. Let's see. Okay, we're pretty good now. All right, so I have set my set. I have tightened these by walking the the uh, key through all the pinions. And now I'm going to come back here and I'm going to loosen the part. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to tighten a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. Final, make sure it's snug. Hey, look at that. Only a couple of tenths worse, maybe one or two tenths worse. So if you, if you set your set true chuck after you walk tightening all three pinions, then you do get a repeatable measurement. Maybe only if you start with the right pinion too. I'm always starting with the same pinion. I think repeatability, I mean, repeating your process is important. So let's loosen it again. Spin this guy around, give it a little snug, a little more, a little more. Double check, it's tight. High spot. Look at that. Okay, so you can walk the pinions as long as you set your set true uh, based on having walked the pinions. Now, let's uh, just try perturbing this just a little bit more. So we're gonna take the indicator off. Here's my master. I'm gonna loosen here. We're gonna move the part. I am not gonna tighten with the master. I am gonna start one pinion over. So we're gonna tighten a little bit, tighten a little bit, 
tighten a little bit the final tighten on this on the master check on the final and that actually repeats okay that's only a couple tenths out too all right one more time so i started here's my master I started on the second pinion. We're going to start on the third pinion. So I'm going to loosen my part. Loosen the part. Start tightening on the third pinion. Tighten a little more on the master. Final tightening on the third pinion. Double check on the third. Find my high spot. And lo and behold, it repeats again. <laughs> so this kind of uh, contradicts my data. Well, it doesn't contradict the data, but what it does is it changes perspective. So last week, if you remember, I set true. I tightened the master pinion. I used the set true to set the chuck up centered. And then I tried walking the three pinions and that did not repeat. It was wildly off over and over again. This time, what I did differently was, is I tightened the three pinions on my part. Then I set the set true to be centered. And then I tightened the three pinions again. And sure, lo and behold, it repeats. Here's my conclusion from the observations and data so far. If you start with the master pinion, Tighten it down on the part. Use your set true to center the part. When you loosen your part and put it back in, you must use the master pinion again. If you want to use one of the other pinions, you must tighten your part with that pinion, adjust the set true for that pinion, and then when you come back, use the exact same pinion and it will repeat. Here's the clincher and here's the one that's particularly interesting. If you Loosen your part, put your part in, tighten, walking the pinion, starting with this pin, the master, the second, the third for final tightness, double check on the master. Then you use your set true to set on that. When you come back, if you loosen your part and you walk your pinions, you'll get repeatability yet again. That is very different than last week, but last week, I, if again, repeating myself, last week I used the master pinion to tighten the part I set the set true based on that, and then I loosened the part, and then I walked the pinions. This time, I tightened the part walking the pinions, adjusted the set true. Then when I came back and loosened the part and walked the pinions, it repeated. And it actually didn't matter which pinion I started on. It still was within a couple tenths. So that is a really interesting uh, observation there. And just to sum it up, the master pinion doesn't seem to be better than the other pinions. It just seems to be one that's identified. So maybe a tiny bit, maybe a tenth better, but I, I, I'm not doing anything accurate enough to, to guarantee that. Um, what I did discover is that whatever you do to tighten your part, after you tighten your part in and you set the set true, you must repeat the exact same process uh, not necessarily with the same pinion, depending on which process you use. So if you're walking the pinions, which pinion you start with does not matter. If you are going for an individual pinion as your master, like the one labeled master or on the, I, either of the other two, you must set your set true based on that pinion. Then when you come back, if you tighten based on that pinion, it will repeat. I know this is very confusing, uh, but I think it's a very interesting observation, and hopefully all of you find this as useful and as interesting as I did. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.